Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to my presentation today. Uh, before I get started, I just want to say a really big thank you to Emma and her team for putting together the event and um, allowing me to come and deliver some of my, uh, my work and my information um, to you all. Um, in terms of the presentation, it is, is me talking and um, I've got a few things to show you. Uh, but I do hope you take away um, some information and knowledge um, and that you enjoy it. So, yeah, happy to be here with you. Um, I'm going to be sharing a little bit of background information on how I found out about drama therapy, um, what it is and then how I use it in how it works with children and young people. So it all began for me in school um, when uh, I started drama classes when it was part of my timetable and drama clubs and just I just fell in love with it I fell in love with it I didn't realize the significance at the time of of what that did for me in my journey um but it was it was my escapism uh, from that I studied performing arts at college and then studied drama at university at university was when I realized that drama could have an impact on people's mental health. Um, we did a workshop in um, a place that were helping um, people with learning disabilities use creative arts to express themselves. Uh, we delivered a drama workshop and then I was introduced to drama therapy. Um, at that time, um, I knew, I just knew, I just knew this is what I wanted to do and um, worked super duper hard and managed to get there and qualified in 2016. Since then, uh, I've been successful in working in secondary schools, primary schools, um, the charity sector, and now I'm working for um, a private um, adoption support agency, as well as a, a primary school as well. Um, in terms of defining drama therapy um i best describe it as a creative psychotherapy um which draws upon all the the arts uh, we use elements from music elements from art elements from play elements from dance movement psychotherapy um and it kind of um layers up on top of what we already have as foundations within drama therapy uh, we're built on storytelling we're built on movement were built on mask work and role plays and um building building things um just anything creative that can help you feel a little bit safer um when you're in quite a vulnerable process is is what i try to say and together through through working with a with a drama therapist you can you can make sense of the stuff that doesn't always make sense internally. Um, and you can bring that out and be in control and be empowered uh, by what you create. Um, uh, drama therapy, you can find in a, in a variety of settings. Um, the NHS, um, I know CAMS have drama therapist. Um, the charitable, private sector, prisons, care homes. Um, you'll find drama therapists everywhere. We are adaptable. And um, although I choose to work with children and young people, um, it, it can work for anybody, which is which is fab. Um, in terms of the actual work that I do, um, so drama therapy is definitely a body, a body focused therapy, which is something that I've, I have always had an interest in but since recently over the past couple of years um specializing within neuroscience i've i've managed to make um even more links as to why drama therapy works so well um particularly with traumatized people so just a tiny bit of theory to help understand a little bit more about how how drama therapy works so well so i come from the view of working with um children and young people who've been traumatized and um, a lot of trauma happens pre-birth to the children I work with um, both in the school and the adoption agency and then post-birth often you find found in um, abusive situations or 
tra just traumatic experiences. A lot of people don't understand that trauma can be anything. Trauma doesn't have to be the big scale stuff. It can be as simple as stubbing your toe and that is actually a really painful trauma to your body. And that will then make your brain respond in a certain way. Um, but with the children that we work with, um, it, it is significant trauma that usually has happened pre-birth and post-birth. So in terms of brain development, I have a jigsaw that I use with the children uh, just to help them um, and empower them with something called psychoeducation. Psychoeducation is one of the earliest things I do with children um, whilst getting to know them and building a rapport and, and building that safety in the in the room just so that they can start to feel a little bit more connected to their bodies and their brains and understanding, oh, okay, this is what's happening. So this big white part is what I call a thinking brain with children, it's your cortex. But this brain stem is the most important part for children within our sessions. So what I explain to children is that when you are growing pre-birth, um, you don't have a thinking brain. What you have is your fight, fight, freeze response, but mostly you have your brainstem. Your brainstem is in charge of all those feelings in your body. So if ever you detect danger, which you can do, but you don't can't make sense of it, it gets held in the body and the body remembers everything, all in the sensations and the belief system and the nervous system. So one of my main jobs in, in, in sessions is, yes, getting to know the child, um, yes, helping them understand their emotions and their feelings and their bodies and just provide them with a space to know it's okay. It's okay to feel vulnerable. It's okay to feel lots of big feelings. Uh, but rather than having to be direct, which can be absolutely terrifying for children and young people, we use the creative measures. So I have some bare feeling cards, which are my one of my favourite tools to use sometimes, um, which has lots of different kinds of bears with different feelings and the children don't have to actually they can come up with their own version of what ha what's happening to this bear um we can play various games with that i do lots of other kinds of card games i've got something called doggle um which i play with them or if the parents are in the room i'll get them to play as well so that's a bit like snap where you match up the different um images and amongst that, there's music, there's dance, there's um, just inter relational stuff. I think that's one of the most important things that I do in my in my work is is building on that relationship because being in relationship is usually really terrifying for children and young people, and especially trusting adults. There's um, there's always so much more that can be spoken about. Um, there's there's other elements of the model that I use in terms of trauma processing, um, and and helping children, um, back into a world where they don't need therapy, um. But I think the key the key elements to take away are kind of the drama therapy is for everybody. That it is a psychotherapy. Um, that it is a safe way to help children and young people who have been traumatised look at their trauma um, or acknowledge their bodies, acknowledge their systems in a way that isn't going to threaten um, or put them at risk of re-traumatisation. Um, it's a fun therapy and it's a joy to work with um, with children and young people, um, especially bringing in all the creative stuff and, and seeing how it works with with families as well, not just the young people, with actually families as well. Um, I really, really hope that you found this interesting and that you have taken something from this. Um, and I really, really hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And um, yeah, thank you so much for your time and so much for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.